Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ricky Lee here and today is day 10 of our January series where we are investing in ourselves, loving on ourselves, and doing everything that we need to do to have the best year of our lives. Today is actually the first day of my spring semester. I am a third year business marketing student at The Ohio State University and I started this channel quite a long time ago, about seven years ago, and ever since I've been in college, I've been sharing my experience of showcasing how I'm taking up space on my predominantly white institutions campus. As you guys may or may not know, I am a student leader, a business owner, a content creator, a sister, a friend, and so many other things. And as I navigate these 20-somethings, sisterhood, womanhood, and so many other types of hoods, I am sharing this space and navigating it with so many other amazing women across the world. I mean, we have people that are supporting us from Zimbabwe, South Africa, and all over the place. And I'm just so honored to share this space with you all so that as I continue to take up space, I'm also able to make room for more women that look like us. This morning, I went ahead and headed over to my first class of the day, which was Intro to Ceramics. I'm very excited to take this class just because I've been really wanting to express myself artistically outside of all of my really hard quantitative courses that I'm taking in the business core. And as you guys can see, campus is relatively busy now. It's literally freezing, but class one down and one more to go. Do you get gloves and a scarf and a hat? I'm gonna be walking around on campus because it's very cold, but I'm headed to Kennedy, which is like a dining hall on South Campus. This is day one. Super exciting. It's freezing. Don't go to school in Ohio. At the start of every semester, you guys have seen me get organized, and this system really has allowed me to thrive. I like to sit down and get all of the information for all of my professors and the courses. I write down their email addresses, the time in which the classes meet, as well as their office hours, and this template can be found inside of my That Life Planner. I designed this specifically for college students who are trying to balance a multitude of different things. I just outline my schedule and when all of my classes are meeting, I color coordinate them, and then I add the meeting times, the office hours, and their names. It's really helpful to have all this information in one place so that I don't have to scrounge around trying to find this information when I quickly need to just ask a professor a quick question because I know that was a struggle for me last year and I really want to mitigate as many obstacles as possible so that I can thrive this semester. Secondly, at the start of every semester, I like to write down all of my assignments according to the course calendar for each course. And if you guys haven't seen already how I prep for that girl semester, Make sure to go check that out because I have even more tips and tricks. But here you guys can see me adding emojis. I like to use a pencil for all homework assignments. I add a lightning bolt for all quizzes and exams. And then I use a girl behind a computer for all of my discussion board posts. Time is now 7.17. I just got back to my house. And because I decided to stay on campus a little bit longer to hang out with my two friends, Jalen and Tania. And it was good. I filled my cup back up after a long draining day of classes and looking through syllabi. I'm so excited about my ceramics class. We're going to be throwing clay on Thursday and I'm like really really uber excited about this because I've always been an artistic person. I've never taken any other art class other than digital multimedia. Um, I've always taken like digital imaging sort of classes and I took those in high school um, and like I told you guys I went to a performing arts school but I didn't take art. I majored in drama and vocal and so I've never really gotten to like you know like build things make things and of course like you guys as you guys can tell I'm really into interior design and stuff like that so I think I would just be pretty good I feel like I would be pretty good at ceramics I can draw I'm not the greatest obviously because I don't draw all the time but I used to paint but I find that painting just takes too much focus. I feel like ceramics is kind of like something where you don't have to be as, you have to be meticulous, but it's more of an aggressive form of art in comparison to painting, depending on your style of painting, obviously, but painting is a little bit more tedious. And so with ceramics, I feel like I can just be like slapping this stuff and like moving and like listening to music, but I'll be like moving my hands and using a lot more of my body. And it's just like less thinking and more just like doing, you know? So 
that's where I'm at. Like, I really just needed an escape, and so I'm really excited about that class. We're going on day, I don't even know what this is, like three of eating this Vinihana. I have nothing else to eat. Tomorrow is my off day from classes, so I'm definitely going to the store. My professor gave us a list of supplies that we need to get alongside myself just needing like a folder and a few other things just because for some of my classes like we're allowed cheat sheets and stuff like that and last semester I always had to use this flimsy blue folder that I had and so I really just need to invest in a nice folder and also y'all every other semester I've been able to thug it out wearing like my tote bags but this semester I'm going to have to walk a lot further to get to my I really have to pee I'll be back <laughs> 